Okay, so you unzip the Sprite Ripper and makes a folder. Here's where it leaves, and there's the Sprite Sound Ripper. You don't click on it. You drag and drop the file on top of it. So to get the Terror Drone stuff, you would have to go to the um, Terror Drone folder where it installs program files, Hurricane Studio, Terror Drone the game. So where it says stop player or dot stage dot demo you can drag and drop them there so like you want to undead Jason find them right there undead make a copy then go back to your folder your sprite ripper just paste it in here and now just drag and drop you noticed it says nothing and now it says open with sprite ripper sound ripper you drop it in there and it will do its job it's ripping all the sprites from that file there's a thousand fifty five sprites it takes a second we're down well going on six hundred so basically um it'll have its walk sprite its jump its shooting its death sprite and um it's all in the folder and if you want to use certain ones you just uh organize see undead it made a folder here now you click on it all the sprites for jason are in here everything so It'll have its idle, its death, but you have to like copy them and put them in another folder if you want to use them. Not only that, it has right here on that sound S A D, it has all the sounds for Jason. And I use a picture viewer saying I want to find the walk or the jump or whatever, and I take these sprites out sometimes I use like 10 of them I'm just trying to find they're not in order they're mixed up so just to let you know looks like usually they go in order from that movement here it looks like I find found the idol I use a picture viewer I click it and then if I click to the next picture or hold the button down and then I get all those frames for that section and put them in a different folder like a jump action the move action the idle or the death and that's how I do it sometimes I get each sprite and recolor the outfit to change it up but um, that's how you use a Sprite Ripper, man.